All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm loaded up, finished for the day, but I want to do an intro to this video. Uh, it works out good. I've got two sets. I've got two different properties set right now. One of them's a small ditch I was at earlier in the year and uh, got in there a month and a half ago, probably the end of January, uh, set that and I never made, never made a catch. Had it set for probably six or eight days. Uh, came in contact with one beaver and uh, caught him by the front foot and, and it ringed its foot off and didn't catch it. Uh, told the farmer I'd get back down there so that was supposed to be my last uh, my last beaver sets for the year. Uh, I got back down there, had the, had it set four days this time, and uh, ended up catching one one two year old beaver. And I think what happened uh, since we've been talking about two year olds, uh, both properties are going to fit into this video. But uh, I think what happened at that first ditch is. Uh, had a set of two-year-olds that met up there and wanted to start a family. I got in there to January, and that's probably about the time they first started leaving the colonies and uh, met up. And about the time that I got in there and first looked the property over, I didn't see much sign at all. Uh, but I went ahead and set it and, and then just had that one, that one miss while I was there. Told the farmer I'd get back down there and try to pick them up, so that's what I did. Had the one... Uh, two-year-old caught the first the first check day of those sets and then uh didn't didn't make another catch now with me and and the beaver i caught had all four feet uh so that other beaver you know is either holed up uh, healing from its wounds or or got infection and, and passed away or uh who knows but anyway now this property uh watershed district called me and uh and I get a lot of business from them and try to help them out in the watershed. So I told them I'd come down here and set this ditch. When I come in here, there's a lot of a lot of sign, a lot of activity. And I was thinking it was probably going to be a, a big colony of beaver. But uh, I get here this morning and uh, make two catches. And I've changed my mind on my thinking on those uh, two colony of beaver. You guys watch and, uh, and I'll explain. But basically... Uh, it's two year olds. This is going to be a set of two year olds that met up uh, last spring and they're getting ready to have their first litter. They've been in here uh, doing all this work, uh, building up these dams, holding water, getting ready to have this first uh, litter of babies. And, uh, and I get here and I just caught both of them this morning. And I figure that's probably going to be all that's in here, but we're going to leave these traps set for a few more days. Uh, just to make sure we've got them all and, and then that'll be the end of our beaver line this year Morning everyone Another beautiful morning here in Arkansas Although it was a bit foggy this morning. There was a Majority of the ride down here. I couldn't see uh, visibility was less than a hundred yards uh, But about the time I get here, it's opened up and you can see pretty good see the Sun coming up Guys, I thought I was finished with my beaver line, but but it turns out I wasn't. Uh, this is the last little ditch I was talking about I had to come back and get. And I thought I would explain to you uh, what I think's happening here. Uh, when I first come and set this, probably about a month and a half ago, I don't know, uh, probably late January uh, is when I first come in here and set this ditch. And I come in here, I left these traps here for about a week. Uh, when the farmer first called me and I first got over here and I drove around looking for sign, I seen very little sign. And what little sign I did find was confined to maybe about 300 yards of this ditch right here. Uh, a couple of hundred yards back up this way. And then uh, probably about a hundred yards this direction. And that, that was all the sign I seen. So that told me there was very little activity, maybe just a couple of beavers in here, if any. And I think, and I, and I only made contact with one beaver here. I caught it by the front foot, and when I got here in the morning, the beaver was gone. Had pulled its front foot off, uh, ringed it out. But uh, anyway, got back, told the farmer I'd get back down here later and get it set up, and that's what I'm doing now. This will be the fourth check day on these traps. Uh, I caught one beaver the very first morning, and I haven't had uh, had one other miss in a foothold. You know, I think it possibly could have been another animal. Uh, ended up call, uh, pulling out, but 
What I think is happening here, guys, about the time I got here is when the dispersal started. Uh, I told you guys that, that the adult beavers kicked their two-year-olds uh, out of the uh, community when they turn two, when she's getting ready to have her, her uh, second litter. And uh, I think that's what's happened here. So after those two-year-olds get kicked out, what happens, guys, is uh, those two-year-olds two spread out. They leave the colony. They're, they're just traveling around, you know, a loner, trying to find somewhere to live. And when they come across paths with an opposite-sex beaver, an opposite-sex two-year-old, they fall in love and decide to, to start up a family, you know, make their own colony, uh, mom and dad. They'll, they'll mate for life. And uh, that's what's happened here, I believe. I believe two beaver, two two-year-olds met up in this ditch and decided to make a colony out of it about the time I got here, started to trap. And, uh, and I've caught one of them and there's still one left. I'm hoping I got it caught this morning. Uh, but just don't know. But I've got, I'm gonna pull these traps either way, catch or not, I'm pulling these traps. And I've got one other location set. Uh, should be a good catch this morning. Uh, I thought this was going to be it, but I had the watershed district call me. And uh, they had one other problem area not too far from the house. So I told him I'd, I'd go ahead and grab it real quick while I was here. But anyway, right here, guys, all I did, I've got a drowning rod right there on that corner. There's two culverts right here. And the beavers, you can tell they've been, been uh, clogging it up. But I got a drowning rod with the, on a the foothold here. I've got a drowning rod and a foothold right down here. And I've got a 330 garden. Uh, this uh, tile over here, that pallet was across there and those beavers are going across that corner. i got a few more sets down here. But I'm gonna get my waders on and get these traps pulled. If I get down here and have any catches, I'll show you guys. If not, stick tight with me and uh, we'll get over to that property that I got. Uh, I got nine sets put out yesterday on the ditch and there's a lot of activity so i'm gonna have some catches over there this morning so i'll get over uh if i don't have any catches here i'll i'll show you guys that over there when i get there and uh and how i got it set up and why i set it up the way i did and i see if we got any catches so hang tight all right guys here we are just next property the watershed called me about and uh got two basically what i've done i've gone down through here and i've located all the dams and i believe i've set four dams and on each dam i put two sets right here i've got a drowning rod and it looks like our trap's gone and then i've got a drowning rod uh right over there on that dam and then each each dam down through here i put two sets and then i've got one uh 330 at the last crossover so it makes nine sets that i have in here and this is our first check day on these sets i'm gonna get down here and and see what we might have down here on the end of this one and we got nothing can't tell what happened but definitely a mess here I'm gonna put it back <clears throat> hopefully we got them over here in this other other drowning rod basically right here guys i just this is a crossover that they're using going you can see it defined here going over to that pond and uh, i just come in here place this uh ts85 right here at the bottom of it went ahead and pulled up a little bit of a uh, little bit of mud from the bottom go ahead and grab some fresh mud here throw it right up there and put a little bit of a uh, 
caster lure on it. I'm gonna ease over here. That's reset. I'm gonna ease over here and check this other drowning rod. I couldn't find a defined crossover on this dam when I set it, so I come in here and made a dam break. Right here, it looks like our trap's still there. It's still set. You can see it right here in the water. I've got this stick stuck up. Uh, so if we do make a catch, it'll drag that stick down. I'll be able to tell, tell that it's gone. All right, so nothing here at our first stop. We're gonna ease on down here. You can see the next dam down there. We're gonna get down there to it and see if we've got a catch on it. All right, guys, here's this next dam now. See, on this one, I guarded it. Let's see. Same thing, done a dam break with a uh, TS-85, it's still sitting here. And then we had this, uh, this where the water was coming through, we had it guarded with a 330. You can see we've got one of the dull beavers caught right here. So that tells me this trap being set on the op top end, and I put the 330 on the bottom end, this adult beaver come from this side was gonna come up right here and I got caught in the 330. So I'll get it out of there and uh, show you guys, show you guys how big a beaver that is and uh, move on down here to our next sets to get them checked. All right guys, there's our remake on this set. We've got the TS-85 garden right here on the front end on this upper part. Other dams, so anything coming from this way, we'll hopefully have caught in that foothold. And right there is our remake with that 330 sitting right in this channel we've created. So if one comes from the bottom, comes up through there, we'll have it caught right there. Here's this beaver, guys. It's not a, it's not a humongous one, but it is a adult. It's gonna be one of the adults in this colony. I believe it's gonna be the male. I won't know until I skin it. But we'll have another, another, at least one other adult in this colony, and then uh, probably some uh, kit beavers in here with them still. Uh, they've already run their two-year-olds off. There may be one being on there and trying to stick around, but uh, anyway, guys, I'll move on down here to this next dam and uh, and get those two sets checked. <clears throat> All right, guys, so this is going to be our third dam here. Right over here on this other side, there's a crossing where they're coming up out of their feed, and I've got a foothold right at the bottom of it. You can see it right beside that dead tree that that's fell over. I can see the, the trap still sitting in the water guarding it. And I believe here had a, uh, think about it a minute. I believe I had a 330 sitting right down here guarding it. Yep, right here's where I had it anchored to this tree. I can see a tail, I can see fur down there in the water. All right, there's, there's another beaver. That's gonna be, that one's gonna be a two-year-old sticking around. So, uh, no, nope, this is gonna be the adult female. So this is a pair of two-year-old young beavers. Uh, the, that one we just caught was the big male. And then this is the, the female she's getting ready to have. You can see how big 
how big she is right now. She's getting ready to have her first set of babies. So, so these these two were two year olds last year, and they met up this time of year and decided that they were gonna they were gonna make a family. So they moved into this ditch, called it home, and uh, and this is her first. This is gonna be her first her first set of little ones that she's having. So these two beaver may be all that's in here because they're not going to have any young ones yet. Uh, we'll see. I've got a, another day. I've got three more traps down here. Uh, good possibility of having a catch. So we'll see. Maybe they're in getting another catch down here. Uh, if not, we'll leave them set tonight. See what happens tomorrow. Uh, if there's any more in here, we should have them caught. Uh, if not, I probably probably leave them set one more night after that, and then I uh, get these traps pulled out of here because these are probably gonna be the only two beaver in here. But anyway, we'll just wait and see what happens. Uh, stick tight, guys. I'm gonna get this reset and just get it set right back down in here uh, where this water comes through, and uh, and we'll move on down here to this next dam. All right, guys. Here's the remake on that. I've just got that 330 set right in this channel where they come through. If a beaver comes through here, there's no other place that it can cross without coming right through this opening. And I've done a pretty good job of camouflaging it there. Uh, just got two sticks going through both springs, securing it. And we've got this stick above it to, uh, to uh, camouflage it in, a little bit of debris put on top. So uh, there's that remake. There's that beaver. We'll get up here and get him on a mule and get down here and get these other sets checked. All right, guys, right up here, that dam is the uh, where we just made that last catch on that female. And actually, I told you I had a third dam set, but it's really not a it's really not a dam. It's just where debris is washed up and it left that little channel right through the middle underneath that underneath that log. And I've got a 330 sitting right in the middle of that channel underneath that log. And that log's actually I've got my springs through it and the traps hanging from that log hanging down secured uh off of the bottom and then then right here i come in here and uh made a slide put a caster mound here and then i've got the the uh, ts85 or a bridger number five garden net right here anchored to this tree uh both of these traps are still set now i've got one more one more set down here uh we'll go down here and uh, and check it all right guys we're just down uh just up there around the corners where that last little 330 was set and i want to show you this spot i can't tell if i got a catch or not i don't think i do but I'll walk over here and show you it's just the perfect location uh, for a crossover all right that trap's still there but let me show you what we got so uh not this little dam here but that next little dam up there is where we got the 330 uh going through it that crossover and right here we've got the, all this debris that's washed up and clogged this ditch up except for this spot right here so those beaver so those beaver are coming right through this channel going across that that debris right there and they're dropping down and going underneath through this little tunnel right here beside this bigger log and I've got that 330 sitting right underneath that debris guarding that garden that uh, lane that they're using to travel so a beaver coming this way is going to come underneath this log, swim around there, and they're going to come right up through here, and we'll have them caught. These are sure enough catchers uh, when you've got a lot of beaver in an area. Now, like I said, I really feel like these two are uh, two young beaver, uh, all that's living in here. But I'll leave these sets uh, until tomorrow. If we don't have any catches tomorrow, I'll leave them one more night after that. And if there's no catches the next day, I'll know we've got We've got all of them out of here for now, and uh, I'll go ahead and pull traps and call it a season. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, and stay tuned. We've got some B videos coming up before long.